twenty. So petty, yet so spiteful, all along. Low, scrubby alders kneeled down over it. Drenched willows flung them headlong in a fit of mute despair, a suicidal throng. The river, which had done them all the wrong, whatever that was, rolled by, deterred no whit. Twenty-one. Which, while I forded, good saints, how I feared to set my foot upon a dead man's cheek, each step or feel the spear I thrust to seek for hollows tangled in his hair or beard. It may have been a water rat I speared, but ugh, it sounded like a baby's shriek. Twenty-two. Glad was I when I reached the other bank. Now for a better country. Vain presage. Who were the strugglers? What war did they wage? Whose savage trample thus could pad the dank soil to a plash? Toads in a poisoned tank, or wild cats in a red-hot iron cage? 23. The fight must so have seemed in that fell cirque. What penned them there, with all the plain to choose? No footprint leading to that horrid muse, none out of it. Mad brewage set to work their brains, no doubt, like galley slaves the Turk pits for his pastime, Christians against Jews. 24. And more than that, a furlong on, why, there. What bad use was that engine for, that wheel, or brake, not wheel, that harrow fit to reel men's bodies out like silk? with all the air of Tophet's tool on earth left unaware or brought to sharpen its rusty teeth of steel. Twenty-five. Then came a bit of stubbed ground, once a wood, next a marsh it would seem, and now mere earth, desperate and done with. So a fool finds mirth, makes a thing and then mars it, till his mood changes and off he goes within a rood. Bog, clay and rubble, sand and stark black dearth. 26. Now blotches rankling, colored gay and grim. Now patches where some leanness of the soils broke into moss or substances like boils. Then came some palsied oak, a cleft in him like a distorted mouth that splits its rim, gaping at death and dies while it recoils. 27. And just as far as ever from the end. Not in the distance but the evening, not to point my footstep further. At the thought, a great black bird, Apollyon's bosom friend, sailed past, not best his wide-winged dragon penned that brushed my cap, perchance the guide I sought. 28. For looking up, aware I somehow grew, spite of the dusk, the plain had given place all round to mountains, with such name to grace mere ugly heights and heaps now stolen in view. How thus they had surprised me, solve at you. How to get from them was no clearer case. 29. Yet half I seemed to recognize some trick of mischief happened to me, God knows when. In a bad dream, perhaps. Here ended, then... Progress this way, when in the very nick of giving up one time more came a click as when a trap shuts your inside the den. 30. Burningly, it came on me all at once. This was the place. Those two hills on the right, crouched like two bulls locked horn in horn in fight. While to the left, a tall scalped mountain, dunce, dotard, a dozing at the very nonce after a life spent training for the sight. 31. What in the midst lay but the tower itself? The round, squat turret, blind as the fool's heart, built of brown stone, without a counterpart in the whole world. The tempest's mocking elf points to the shipman, thus the unseen shelf he strikes on, only when the timbers start. 32. Not see? Because of night, perhaps? Why, day came back again for that. Before it left, the dying sunset kindled through a cleft. The hills, like giants at a hunting, lay chin upon hand to see the game at bay. Now stab and end the creature to the heft. 33. Not here, when noise was everywhere. It tolled, increasing like a bell, names in my ears of all the lost adventurers, my peers. 
How such a one was strong, and such was bold, and such was fortunate, yet each of old lost, lost. One moment knelled the woe of years. 34. There they stood, ranged along the hillsides, met to view the last of me, a living frame for one more picture. In a sheet of flame I saw them, and I knew them all. And yet, dauntless, the slug horn to my lips I set and blew. Child Roland to the dark tower came. I don't normally air poetry, but that is powerful. And it says it all. Dauntless lifted the slug horn to my lips and blew. Child Roland to the dark tower came. Your calls, a ton of important information, straight ahead. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Honey, look, I'm getting jerky with it. You're getting what? Getting jerky with it. I'm getting jerky at jerkyspot.com. They've got over 100 delicious jerkies to choose from, like crunchy maple bacon jerky, cranberry jalapeno, and even liquor-infused beef jerky. Go to jerkyspot.com today and save $5 on your first order. Use the code TRYJERKYSPOT. Jerkyspot.com. It's all your favorite jerky in one spot. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. In the U.S., one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year. Burglars call it smash and grab. Police call it robbery. We call it avoidable. We are Fake TV, a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars. Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Central Texas Command Center, deep behind enemy lines, the information war continues. It's Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. The video that Darren McBreen put together, very powerful, very powerful anti-suicide cult uh, video is up on Infowars.com. Video, Soylent Green is made out of people. DrudgeReport.com is linked to our article uh, dealing with the Border Patrol uh, terrorizing a woman with a knife and taser in a highway pullover miles from the border. Uh, just shows the bizarre behavior. And again, I'm not even demonizing the Border Patrol. This is just a mess. Uh, but that story and video is up on InfoWars.com. Let's go back to your calls. I appreciate David holding. Then we'll go to Alex. 
James, Al, uh, Anya, and uh, Anya's in France. I need to skip ahead and get to Anya soon because some of those folks call on their own dime. David in Oklahoma, you're on the air. Thanks for calling. Hey, Alex. Uh, good to talk to you. I've been uh, listening to your radio uh, for about a year now. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you about what you think about the medical establishment pushing their agendas for, uh, for things that people don't really need. Well, I mean, it's a mix. You've got a lot of good doctors, a lot of great nurses. they got a really hard job. But the, the, the drugs aren't working anymore. The, the, the bugs are becoming hyper-resistant. And now the government and the bioethicist boards, the death panels, are programming the hospitals and programming the system to, to, to take medicine out of the hands of the doctors and even make it worse. So that's my view on it. Most doctors are really good people. Uh, it's just that they are in a cult, basically, of doing things one way. Uh, and, uh, I mean, they're great when your leg's broken or you got a gunshot wound or when you have, you know, your aorta explode. Miracle medicine. It's just that pharma itself has become very predatory. What's your view on it? Well, I grew up in a chiropractic background, and uh, I was always told not to take anything that uh, I don't need. So uh, I think that if you have any back pain or anything like, a, um, I don't know, anything other than, a, you know, just, you don't need to go to the doctor for a, a normal, a regular cold. Well, I know this. I know a lot of people, they say you have knee surgery, and they just go and take yoga or stretch, and they don't need, and take, you know, the proper type of uh, joint support. Uh, they, we have at InfoWarsHealth.com. I mean, it's just miraculous what uh, the Alex Pack does, you know, that has the different things in it, including the FX support and the things it does for the joints. I mean, they're just not telling you that a lot of times there are things other than surgery, and, and that's being proven. And so MD Medicine, run yeah. by the system, is wanting to shut down its competition. Great points. Anya, uh, in France, where the story of uh, Roland comes from. Uh, go ahead. You're on the air. Hello, Alex. Hi. Hi, I'm calling you just basically because I really feel for you. Um, I'm living here in France, and we're not quite where, we, where you are at the moment. Um, I've been watching your programs and trying to sort of like uh, update myself on all the information that you're, you're giving out. And I really feel for you because I don't know how you get these people to move. I really don't. I can see they're moving, but I think it's a bit too late. And I actually think that elsewhere in the world, they're, they're as asleep <laughs> as they are in the States. Only you're, you're much further on than we are. Uh, I, I actually think that this new world order is, is, is on our doorstep. And nobody, nobody is actually aware of it. Or they are aware of it, but you talk to people. I, I can hear people talking on your on your show, and 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 they're sort of okay. They're aware, but there are so many people out there. You 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 can actually alienate people talking about these things. I agree. Stay there. I'm going to come right back to you. I'm calling from uh, France, uh, Anya. You're making some great points. I want to get your idea on how you think we do reach out to people and solutions. So don't hang up. We're going to come back to you. And then we're going to go to Alex and James and Al and, and David and I going to be popping in about secret EPA testing that's been exposed and more in the next hour. Infowars.com. Follow us on Twitter at Real Alex Jones. Help us get that Soylent Green video out to everybody. This is GCN, the Genesis Communications Radio Network. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico, where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure the sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. We 
Waging war on corruption. Alex Jones on the GCM Radio Network.